clouds are being chemically forced to rain in Iran. 19 dams have nearly run dry and experts now warn evacuating Tehran may be impossible. Hi, I am Samaksh Namdev and you are watching the Free Press Journal. And today's story feels less like news and more like a warning for the world. Because in Iran, a nation of 89 million people, the government has launched an operation that sounds desperate. Iran is carrying out emergency cloud seeding operations as the country faces one of its worst droughts in decades. Iran is in the middle of its worst water crisis. In some provinces, it has not rained in months. Rainfall this year is down by a shocking 89% compared to normal. It is very serious. Um, the country is now in its sixth year of drought. The water year started in October, the sixth water year. So far it has been also much drier than, than usual. Not, no rain happening across the whole country and this is um, new to Iran. And the consequences are everywhere. Iran's largest lake, Urmia, has dried so badly that it's now a vast white salt field from the sky. 19 major dams, which is almost 10% of all reservoirs, are effectively dead. In Tehran, entire public fountains have been switched off. The Karaj River in al province is thin, dying stream. At the Imam Zadeh Mosque in northern Tehran, hundreds gathered, hands raised and praying simply for the rain. It was a surreal moment when religion and science running parallel, both chasing the same crisis. Iranian president has warned that if rainfall does not improve soon, water rationing may be implemented in the capital and evacuations cannot be ruled out. Authorities have also announced plans to penalize households and businesses that consume excessive water. If there is no rain, we in Tehran, in Azarma, we have to do it. تازه معلوم جیره بندی کردیم اگر بازم نباره که دیگه اصلا آب نداریم باید تهران رو خالی کنن The water crisis follows month of drought across the country During the summer the government declared public holidays in Tehran to reduce water and energy usage as the capital experienced frequent power outrages during the heat wave Images from Tehran show people filling containers at public water taps while other fountains have been turned off to conserve supply. Iran's crisis is not an isolated headline. It's a preview, a preview of what happens when climate changes accelerate, when water management collapses, and when a population of millions depends on clouds that may never arrive. Cloud seeding may bring some showers, prayers may bring some hope, but long-term survival that will require something bigger fundamental change in how nations plan for water, climate and the future. I am Samaksh Namdev. If you found this report insightful, share it. Because stories like this are not just international news. They are warning meant for all of us. Stay safe, stay aware. See you in the next one.